Godspeed, New Shepard. Five, four, command start, two, one. Amazon chairman Jeff Bezos seems to have a fascination with the notion of making a business out of flying objects. From package delivering drones to the rockets launched by his space transportation company, Blue Origin LLC. And now Bezos is set to announce specific details about Blue Origin's new customers and initiatives. The latest step toward his long-term goal of building rockets powerful enough to penetrate deep into the solar system, according to industry officials. The WSJ's Andy Pastor reports that the typically secretive Bezos is expected to disclose Blue Origin's strategy in the coming days, which mainly involves creating a family of reusable rockets and then propel spacecraft into the Earth's orbit and eventually blast both man and robotic missions to the moon and various planets. Plans for heavy lift boosters previously unveiled by Bezos ultimately could emerge as rivals with the powerful rockets already under development by SpaceX, the exploration company of Tesla founder Elon Musk. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration is working on its own version of a deep space booster and capsule. But for the first time, Blue Origin in the next few days is expected to make specific customers public. What is going to lift off from Launchpad 36? Well, I want to give you a little sneak peek. Here it is. The new orbital vehicle. Bezos and Musk are both self-described, quote, space geeks, unquote, with ambitious visions of helping humans establish large-scale settlements beyond Earth in their lifetimes. In the past, Bezos has talked about his long-term vision of, quote, millions of people living and working in space, unquote. Drag brake check good. Forward fin check good. Aft fin check good. So far, Bezos has been less specific about timetables to demonstrate the reliability of his emerging heavy lift rocket variant called New Glenn after the late astronaut and U.S. Senator John Glenn. He's been even less specific about a next generation rocket on the drawing board, dubbed New Armstrong in memory of the late astronaut Neil Armstrong, the first man to set foot on the moon. Blue Origin successfully landed a new booster at its West Texas launch pad in late 2015. The unmanned vehicle flew a suborbital test to 333,000 feet, reached nearly four times the speed of sound, and then both the capsule and its liquid fuel rocket separately landed safely, ready for another flight. At the time, Bezos projected commercial space tourism flights could start sometime in 2017.